Our team chose to launch Sarah's children's collection for the upcoming Christmas. Uh, we decided to do this marketing campaign for Sarah firstly because of it's part of one of the world's largest fashion retailers, Inditex. Moreover, the brand has a strong, quick fashion strategy and a well-developed business model and it's one of the most popular brands on the high street market today. The product to be launched is a children's collection for Sarah. We decided to introduce it before Christmas in order to attract customers during the holiday times. Additionally, we came up with a festive collection for young girls and boys from age 8 to 14 to add more products to our product range as well as emphasize on our children's wear collection. Did you say? We'll start our presentation by pastel analysis, setting up costs, product development, considering some business issues, assessing the competition through Potter's Five Forces module, considering advertising, pricing, sales planning and distribution issues, and we'll come to a conclusion. <laughs> Before launching the campaign, we had to consider some macro-environmental factors and assess the industry in order to be prepared for any unforeseen circumstances. We used best analysis to analyze the external environment of Zara. Let's begin with political analysis. As Zara is entering new countries all the time, there are entry requirements and boundaries that have to be considered carefully. What is more, the trade policies and the tariffs of imports and exports have to be well examined. In addition, the labor wage, the production cost and the labor law is different in each country. Therefore, it's crucial for Zara to take this into consideration when producing in, order in other countries. Economic factors analyze the inflation, interest and exchange rates. They are of great influence for the company as Zara is an international business. The economic recession is an unpredicted factor that can also impact the company. Social factors are important for Zara as the brand has stores all over the world. Things like cultural aspects and traditions of a country, types of clothes, trends and preferences of the target market of customers for the particular country need to be assessed. The technological factors has an influence on Zara as well. Tech innovations in stores are on highly developed iPod headphones, radios, Casio that can help the team of workers during the agitated days on the shop floor. Some of the technology that Zara uses is information and communication between the shop managers and the design team in the headquarters. Moreover, the new technology, the distribution and the logistics might be improved. Environmental factors for Inditex as a retail chain are important. The company has a well-established management system that monitors the sustainability at the stores as well as in the factories. Zara has eco-friendly shops and warehouses where the aim is energy consumption to be reduced in all processes, design, lightening, heating, cooling. Furthermore, the company produces less waste and recycles millions of hangers, alarm and plastic each year. In terms of legal factors, Zara is trying to keep the law restrictions and rules for tariffs, trading policies, taxation, insurance policies, wages and salaries. They have to take into consideration consumer law, employment, health and safety law. We came up with an approximate budget for the marketing campaign which includes marketing research, photo shoot for the campaign that will be on the billboards as well as online and includes vocation, props, models, photographer, graphic designer and editor, logistics including transport and warehouse, packaging, high quality canvas bags and Christmas boxes as well as advertising the price of the billboards and the preparation for the window displays. Our planned budget was 76,250 
However, we managed to fit within 71,950 pounds. We will begin with product development. New product development might be risky and might be too costly, that is why we already provided a comprehensive analysis of the market and came up with an approximate budget. New product development has to be provided in every big company so as to create a competitive advantage, achieve long-term growth and profit, fill the strategic gap and compete with the competitors. We think that Christmas time is children's time and parents go out and buy them presents. With this brand extension, Zara will not only bring a new range of clothing, but it will also enhance its children's portfolio. As more than half of Zara's items are produced in Asia, the tariffs for imports and exports have to be calculated carefully. Furthermore, shipping and distribution around Christmas takes longer time and the distribution fees might be more expensive. The collection and the marketing campaign have to be planned as early as possible to arrive in stores on time for the Christmas shopping. We will evaluate the level of competition for Zara through Porter's Five Forces analysis, threat of new entrants, low to medium, because Zara has a strong business model and is well established high street brand, threat of substitute products and services, high, because there are many high street stores and department stores that open Christmas shops and sell children's wear, power of buyers, medium to high, as customers have a wide variety of stores and brands to choose from and the price and the quality in this case might be a factor. Power suppliers. Low, low as the brand have the opportunity to choose the suppliers they want. Rivalry is really high. Other stores are offering similar products with Christmas theme. John Lewis, Selfridges, H&M, Gap, Marks and Spencers, River Island, Debenhams, House of Fraser's, Primark and Matalan. We will continue with some advertising issues. Children's campaigns are sensitive. However, Christmas is the most appropriate time to launch a campaign for kids. Our campaign will consist of window displays with Christmas theme at the biggest stores in London on Oxford Street. The purpose of it will be to attract children to enter the store. The brand will also launch an online campaign on the official web Facebook page and on the official website, which will emphasize on attracting parents. There will also be billboards that are made to attract children's attention. We'll also take a look at some pricing issues. Products in physical stores will be one pound more than online because in stores people can actually feel the fabric and assess the quality of the products straight away. Moreover, the prices in products will be similar to our competitors. The Christmas children campaign will also offer a promotion in order to stimulate shoppers to buy from Zara. First 50 buyers would get a gift box. In terms of sale planning and distribution issues, Zara is well organized. The most important advantage of Zara is the fact that they optimize a fast response distribution network, whereas they can react fast to the rapidly changing consumer demand. Basically, Zara has control over a big part of the supply chain. Not only does Zara make its own fabrics, but it also designs, manufactures and distributes its own clothes. Consequently, the new collection is distributed in two weeks, while competitors usually need six months for the same results. The children's brand extension will last only for a month and a half, which makes the collection even more exclusive. We will sum up everything with the marketing planning process. Where we are now, we successfully prepared our marketing campaign by researching and planning. Where do we want to be? We want to successfully sell our Christmas collection with a high profit. How, how might we get there? We might get there with a strong marketing campaign that will attract buyers and buy quality products. 
which way is the best? The best way to achieve it first to assess the external environment and to take into consideration the competitors. How can we ensure arrival by taking secure steps and planning in advance? Just another perfect day. Zara, fast, affordable, prepackaged fashion. A business built on speed, designed for addiction.